You pursue, you are still angry that your God was stolen. Number one, your God can be stolen. He can be missing. Number two, you can come this close to your God under the seat. He cannot shout for help. I don't know. This is not, this is not, you see, I don't know if in your South African Bibles you have this verse. But listen, okay, you can sit down. You can sit down. Let's talk about something here. Ah, my God. <laughs> ah, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I told you that I saw it in the Bible. I closed it. I said, no, if I come back, I think maybe I'm dreaming. I opened it again. I said, ah, what is happening? This guy, what's wrong with certain people? That they can be given an opportunity, and yet it's so difficult for them to make one concrete decision. Okay, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> I can see all of you are saying, ha, what's wrong with Laban? But the next question is, what's wrong with me? I've seen that people, when they find themselves in a place where there is God, they become uncomfortable. They are not sure, should I be here or not? Should I be here or not? But the moment they find themselves in a place where there is no God, they are very comfortable. They can be there. A church can become a family church. All the generations can be coming and joining the same ministry. And they will never even ask a question, how is it that our God is so mute? He cannot speak. What's wrong with this kind of a God? Not even one person will ask that question. I'm still puzzled. I don't know what to say again after what I've just said. How can you be two meters away from your God and you are looking for him? And he knows that you are desperate. You love him. This was necessary before, not after God had spoken to you. You have tested the prophetic. How can you then not make a proper decision to say, if there is a place where God can speak like this, I wouldn't want to belong to a place where God is not just quiet, but he seemed to be absent. Things can happen anyhow. And you're wondering, ha, huh, do we have God in this house? It all goes back to the issue of choices. Imagine God never said to Laban, receive me. He simply appeared. He demonstrated. He healed the sick. He did the miracles. But it was left now for, to him to make a decision. What do you say of what you have just seen? That's the reason why people remain broke. Because every poor person, at some point, he was exposed to riches. And then he moved away from that state of riches back into poverty. Your poverty is based upon your choices. You are not bold enough to make major decisions in life. You still fear what people are going to say. If people are still a concern to you, you are not yet concerned about a blessing. Some of us, we have been delivered from people. Some years ago, I was sharing with some pastors here yesterday. 
that there was a time when God said to Saul, who was then called Paul, he said, I have delivered you from the people and from the Gentiles so that you can go back to them and open their eyes. And I say to the leaders, you cannot deliver the people that you are not yet delivered from. God has to deliver you not just from demons, but from certain people. We have a caliber of people nowadays that are ready to possess certain people and to own certain people. And if you are in search of, a, of deliverance, you need to be delivered not just from demons, but from certain people. People can possess. Can you see that there are certain decisions that you cannot make unless you consult certain people? Which means those certain people are working as demons in your life. Hmm. I sat down with a certain gentleman. <laughs> he was regarded as the greatest teacher in his ministry. So well informed according to his own standard. And then I sat down with him. We were just going through the word of God. Because that's what I enjoy doing. So I sat down with this man and we are talking. And I went, we were going through every scripture most critical portions of the Bible, where he thought I th I th these ones, and I was answering every question, 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 and all of a sudden, he broke into tears. He was a leader in a certain church, very highly regarded, and then all of a sudden, he's crying, and he got a hold of his Bible, he looked at his Bible like this. He opened it. He said, my friend, you have rebelled against me. I thought I knew you. He was talking to his Bible. You have rebelled against me. And he was crying. So I said to him, so what is your choice? What is your decision now? Can we move together? He said, I would have wanted. But I have a position. And not just a position. You know, they bought me a motorbike. 